how's everybody doing today? I'm going to do a quick review on a movie burning software called Convert X to DVD. Uh, this one's been around for quite a while. Uh, they've got some newer versions out now, uh, the same kind of layout that you see here. So it's all pretty much the same. The reason I'm doing this one is it's one of the best that I've come across over the last, oh, probably several years. I've tried them all. I've tried Nero, um, and then all the ones in between, Nero being one of the best. But I found with Nero, um, if you're new to burning movies, you can find it quite complicated. There's a lot to learn. Um, once you get the hang of it, it's it's really simple. But I just found it, it seemed to take longer to burn movies um, than this one here, uh, almost by half. And, the, and this one provides the same quality, same sound, same uh, video quality. So, and it's all in a simple layout. And for example, up here, when you first open program, you got your settings up here. You got your file. You can add your video file. Um, actions, if you've already got one that's already been converted to DVD format, you can just simply come down here and click this bottom one here. Uh, that would be a lot quicker than it wouldn't have to convert it, but 99% uh, of the time you're gonna have to convert it anyways. And here under settings, you've got uh, just your basics. You got your general. You got your language. Ours being most of ours being English. Um, chapters, for example, click on chapters. This one's set um, by default every 15 minutes. Um, you don't need them every 15 minutes. Uh, speed it up a little bit. We can do it every 20 minutes. Um, what else do we got here? Some audio, for example. You, you just play around in here. Click on the audio. Second one down, you got your sound. I prefer 5.1. Seems to give you the best sound. Uh, I leave everything else as default. Uh, video processing, uh, letterbox format. Uh, again, I leave all this. Just leave it alone. Nothing to do really in here. You can customize it if you so want to, but uh, no, you don't have to do anything in there. Uh, what else do we got? The uh, specifications. Uh, of course, you're going to have NTSC if you're from here, or if you're in Europe, it's going to be PAL. Um, yeah, I mean, it's self-explanatory. Very, very simple in here. You got your subtitles. Um, if you want to add them in there, uh, what else do we got? DVD menus. I stay with the uh, default black mirror, but if you click on this button here, you'll see you've got, I think there's about 37 of them or so, other ones that... Uh, you can pick and um, use them, customize them yourself. Very, very simple, you know. And then we got our Windows button. Um, over here, for example, when you're converting, you'll see your movie being converted over here in the right. Uh, if you don't want to see that, just hit Video Preview and click that away. But uh, it doesn't, doesn't hurt anything being there. And, of course, your Help. And, for, and you can check for updates in there. Now, to show you how easy it is to import a file, you can either hit the green Add Video Files here under File, or just come on over here with the screen closed and hit there, and here's a movie that popped up. Just click on it, click Open, and there it goes. It puts itself right into the main screen. Uh, this one's only 140 minutes, so I can easily get another one on there, and if you look down here, you'll see what looks like a stoplight and it's in green. That's telling you that it's going to be able to burn to a top quality. If it changes color, it means you've got too many movies you're trying to burn to the disc at one time and it's going to either not do it or it's going to sacrifice the quality of it um, in order to fit them all on. So uh, with that, there's a, another way, of course, of doing it, a simple way, and that's just quickly go to where your downloads are and there's one here and just click and drop and drag that simple and then once they're in there if you don't like the the big file name you know if you download it off of torrents or you download it from wherever just simply right click and edit title set name and then you know just backspace and come to just the name of the movie hit enter and I'll do the same for the other one right click edit title set name and backspace it and there we go and that's done 
and uh, you'll see them over here. That'll ha that's how it'll appear on your TV once you put it into your DVD player. So you get your two different titles. Click on whichever movie you want to watch, and you simply hit convert. Now you want to make sure at this point that you put a blank DVD into your, uh, preferably a minus R DVD, and uh, put that into your DVD slot, and uh, there you go. It's going to be good to go. It's going to take a while. With the two movies, it's going to take about an hour and 45 minutes, give or take. Uh, with one movie, I find it takes 45 minutes to an hour, and that's to do everything. That's to add your... Um, everything that you want you wanted to put in there it, it's in there um, so it's got to convert it and burn it and it's gonna put your chapters in so there you go it does everything you needed to do um, and 45 minutes to an hour is not bad at all um, I can live with that and the quality again is crisp clear as long as your download was a good clean copy it's gonna be an amazing quality copy this thing does a great job I don't notice any skips or anything like that within it so uh, yeah, with that said and done, have yourself a look at Convert X to DVD. Um, again, this one's number four, uh, but uh, there are some newer ones out there if you want to check them out as well. Very similar layout, so you'll have no problem navigating around it and uh, enjoy. I'm sure you guys will love it. Thank you very much and have a great day. Don't forget to uh, like and subscribe, guys. Cheers.